Hello guys, Vixis of back again and today's topic is why are our applications being rejected? Why is Adelisa rejecting applications for change of employer? So watch until the end. I'm going to explain why and if you can reapply again and how many times if there is an opportunity to reapply, how many times can you reapply? So guys, what exactly is the reason as to why Adelisa is rejecting applications? This is a question men have been having because you have applied, you have already resigned in your current company. And then once you put all submissions and wait maybe for two, three weeks or a month, then you are having a rejection message from Adelisa. I know it is stressing guys, it's not an easy thing. So. Uh, stay in this video until the end watch until the end but before I continue with that like the video because liking our videos will help uh, the video get to more people so like the video share comment on whatever you want to know about Qatar and I'll be glad to share it here right here so click the subscribe button guys it's very important click the subscribe button down below just the red button just hit it so guys, straight to the point, why is the ministry doing this to us? Most people have been frustrated. You took your time, you looked for a new job, you got, you went for an interview, you passed the interview, you have received the offer letter, you signed the offer letter. With the required documents, you have struggled with your current company. They have given you your contract copy, original contract copy, if you didn't have it. And now it's time that you have applied. You have applied and you're expecting uh, the ministry to go as smooth as it says. Like you expect, of course, your change of employer. After one week or two weeks, you receive the message. Uh, you approve a message. It has succeeded. And the notes period, which is uh, one month for those who have worked or have worked for Qatar less than two years. and. Two months for those who have worked more than three years in the same company. Man, then from nowhere, you receive a message. You are so happy. Oh, Adelisa just texted me. Looking at the message, it's a rejection message. Why this is happening? So I'm going to explain first why it's happening and if you can reapply uh, again. And what if it's rejected? What can you do? The first reason as to why the, the Adelisa is rejecting your applications is you did not submit the right documents. That's the first thing. Uh, not everyone. Some are submitting their right documents, but some people have not submitted their right documents. So if you submit, for example, a contract that you were given years ago and maybe you renewed your contract and they, like, uh, they changed the contract with the salary and everything, then you are applying with a contract that is not on the Adlisa system, that means it will be rejected. It will not continue. The other thing is uh, you have applied with all documents, but there is some changes in the law that right now people need to have a resignation letter that has been signed and stamped. So if you don't give a resignation letter that's an official resignation letter that has been signed and stamped from your current company, expect a rejection because it's mandatory you have to have a signed uh, resignation letter. The other thing is um, the kind of job that you are applying for when they try to weigh with your current job, they are far related. So they have questions. So it doesn't mean that you will not change from one job to another in different fields. You can change. But this one needs to, like you need to have qualifications. Maybe you have not shown them their qualifications. The qualifications for your current job and the job you are applying for, they are really different. So there are some jobs that need, professional jobs that need uh, certificates. So if your profile doesn't have that in uh, when you are applying for it at the first time, so you're going to get a rejection. The other thing is 
you've submitted all your documents but the salary difference is uh, too big or you're moving from a high paying job to a low paying job that one definitely they're gonna have questions so they will be like what are you going to look in this new company if your salary is going to be lower than your current salary so that one even during the noc times they used to question so you would get a rejection but now my advice is for those who are worried i received a rejection can i reapply again yes it's possible just go and check your documents have the right documents once you have received the message for rejection follow the right process and it's better if uh, the pr of the new company applies for you don't apply for yourself it's the same it's the same thing but let the pro apply for you if the pro applies for you it's easy for them to make follow-ups because if you apply for yourself and you are telling the new company that you applied yes they know you applied but maybe they are thinking that you did not apply with the right documents that's why we have a delay so if you let the pr of the new company apply for you it's gonna make it easy for him to believe that you applied and in case your old company uh, where you already resigned you're finished your notes period one month but at least hasn't given a feedback you can move into the new company and since the pro applied for you so he knows that uh, your notes period with the other company is end it has come to an end so you can be working in the new company as you are waiting for Adelisa to finish the process and what if you apply for the second time and it gets rejected what can you do can you apply again for the third time yes you can apply again for the third time guys don't give up on these applications this is the right time to work in Qatar don't give up because you give up and you have resigned in your previous company they are not gonna take you back so it means you pack your things and go back to your country no one wants to go back to their country if you have not achieved your goals you still need to hustle just make sure you reapply again if even possible uh find several jobs get because even your current uh, new employer may give up on you if you are getting rejections always so find another job have a offer letter in case this one is rejecting and the current uh, new employer has seen that maybe the rejections are too much you can apply with another company also until you get accepted guys don't give up reapply apply reapply but i know the ministries on our side as employees just keep pushing don't give up guys are not uh queuing the line there it's difficult and most people maybe uh, you already quit from your current company you have been staying one month in the accommodation maybe you are your cash or your money is running out your salary is running out you are stressed keep pushing good things don't just come easily you have to keep pushing so guys make sure you share this video to everyone else uh, who is interested in jobs in qatar anything to do with qatar i'm here for you feel free to comment down below like the video like guys hit the subscribe button hit it hard let's get to higher numbers and let's spread this good information to everyone i know there are people who need this information out there and they don't get it easily so i'm here for you guys just share to everyone who needs it bye see you on the next video and i'm gonna update you more about qatar